Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you are watching Voodoo DE VR. Yeah, this time we have the Virtual Reality and Augmented Reality Weekly News again with the following topics. A mother meets her dead daughter in virtual reality. Humble Bundle gets a cool VR bundle. Steam VR beta update. Acer Ojo Concept D headset cancelled. Prince of Persia gets a VR arcade. And Half-Life Alex gets a release date as well as Don the Rabbit Hole. Also, you will um, learn the newest releases and sales this week. Yeah, thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Oppermann Events, Nursing Skills, Andy DeFelser VR Ambassador and Alpha Blend Interactive. Let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go! Voodoo.de You know you can do a lot with virtual reality, but this is really strange. Um, in South Korea, a mother lost her very young daughter and um, that was 2016 and now they cre recreated her daughter with virtual reality with a pre-recorded footage of her when, when she was uh, still alive and then sh she experienced her virtual reality character. Look at this. There she is. And she can even touch her with, with the haptic gloves. So this is so strange. I mean, what do you think about that? I mean, you, you, you actually revive a dead person. Is that okay for you? I mean, when I'm the mother and I lost my daughter then, and I see her in virtual reality, I don't want to leave virtual reality again. I just want to be with her. Perhaps you lose yourself in virtual reality then. It's, it's strange. But what do you think about that? Is this a good idea or is it not? Write it in the comments below. Humble Bundle has an awesome VR bundle. I know I could put that in the sales section of the weekly news, but this is very important because it's so cheap and so awesome. So if you pay one euro, one euro, then you get Cosmic Trip in Smashbox Arena. Smashbox Arena is an arcade um, multiplayer shoot and Cosmic Trip is a cool uh, real-time strategy game. And if you pay even 1350, then you get Gorn, Budget Cut, Space Pirate Trainer, Super Hot VR and Moss. Really good virtual reality games and so cheap. This is a must-have, guys. Just don't think about the money, buy it. <laughs> They're really good games if you don't have them already, of course. Um, I can recommend all of these games. All of these games. This is really good. The Humble Bundle Virtual Reality Bundle. Valve is really pushing virtual reality forward with all this stuff. And you see, you even see that on uh, with the Steam VR beta updates. And they ha again have an update here. Um, I told you last week, but here, here you can see all the new buttons, like the menu button, the desktop switch, the library, the shop page, the volume and the settings. This re looks really like a like big screen, I would say. And this is really good in virtual reality. You can browse your stuff, the last played games, and and all that stuff and what I really look forward is that you can finally see the the correct icon here um, in Steam VR when it's open when you connect your Oculus Quest via link to PC. Normally you would see the Rift S icon and this is just wrong and now they finally polished it. Yeah, I mean this is of course only a little bit uh, a little improvement but I like that because I mean if when when there are new people in virtual reality and then they connect their quest and they see Rift S and they think, what is that? Oh, is that beta? Is that, uh, am I only a test person or what? And this is really good. So yeah, they are pushing that a lot. And uh, I'm looking forward to Steam VR when Half-Life Alex is out. <laughs> Acer canceled the Concept D Ojo headset. You know, they uh, had uh, this um, Ojo 500, I have this at home, I didn't uh, like it and um, perhaps they said, okay, perhaps this one is also not good, let's just cancel that. But perhaps think about why should they cancel a headset that has such a high resolution, like 2160 by 2160, like the HP Reverb, uh, even better with IPG adjustment and re removable head um, mount and stuff. You know what Acer has in their 
background that's on ice. It's the Star VR1, the best headset on this planet. And I'm still sure that they will release it someday. Perhaps they just canceled this one because they don't want uh, this, uh, yeah, the decision for the people, should I buy the Star VR1 or the, the Concept D? Perhaps they will release the Star VR1 soon and cancel this because of the Star VR. I, we will see, <laughs> we will see. So uh, let's, yeah, let's check out the future of, of Acer. I'm curious. Prince of Persia gets a VR arcade experience. So the people that are in my age, I'm 36, and they know it from, from the earlier times of the PC gaming. Prince of Persia was a 2D side-scrolling game, and that was so awesome. I died a lot of times. <laughs> and now you can play this with two, three, or four players in a VR arcade as an escape room game. So you have to solve puzzles, and uh, you can find um, these this experience in the Ubisoft VR arcades. The first one is in Germany, in Düsseldorf, but there will be 300 locations all over the, this planet and then you can play it there. Really good, I, if I have time and I'm close to these locations, I will try it out soon. Down the rabbit hole, I tried this game for you at the um, exhibition and I really love this game. And this has a release date now. It's March 26th in 2020, so it's not a long time to wait. And it will be released on all virtual reality headsets, Quest, PlayStation VR and all PC VR headsets. And uh, the story is in Alice in Wonderland and you have two characters and you have to solve puzzles with the two characters. You need them both to solve the puzzles. And it was a lot of fun. I really liked that. And um, it will cost 20 bucks. And I think it will be worth it. I, I was impressed by this game. So check out March 26 for this game. Down the rabbit's hole. <laughs> Look at this. Get out your calendar and mark March 23rd, 2020 with 3x <laughs> and uh, get a free day from work. Tell all your friends you are dead or you are not available or whatever and play Half-Life Alex in virtual reality. Holy shit. <laughs> we have some new screenshots here. Look at the combined soldiers here and this uh, health regeneration station here. Then here, uh, this, this little monster that sucks uh, you up and uh, um, eats you and, and stuff. And here's, uh, this looks like a puzzle scene. There's a, a big car here and some scenes. It looks great. We know this already. Here's a soldier with a, with a head crab. Oh, I, 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 can, I cannot wait for that. I'm looking forward to that. Of course, I will play it then and show it to you. And I'm looking forward to that. What do you think? Do you also look forward to that? Give me a thumbs up <laughs> if you like that. I, I cannot wait. It's crazy. Can, can somebody freeze me until March 23rd? <laughs> Let's check out the releases. This week um, I picked out the games that, that seem to be not Ultra crappy. <laughs> Orion 13, this is a um, spacey um, hack and slash sword combat adventure here and um, looks very futuristic with robots and stuff. Um, Die Wolf is an archery game in a comic style with waves. Silicon Rising, that looks really good. Um, it's a story based shooter with robots and um, many action scenes. <laughs> Biathlon battle, of course, by Biathlon stuff, and um, but you cannot play it in multiplayer. Hollow Remnant, this is a very dark dungeon shooter with skeletons and stuff. Then Tropical Air Hockey, yeah, you play air hockey, but unfortunately this is only for single player here. Um, there's nothing on the Oculus Quest, but on the Oculus Rift, we have Throw Anything. Yeah, a game where we can throw anything. <laughs> then we have Warped Ch Chapter 1, a dark virtual reality uh, shooter. And Zombie Busters for the Oculus uh, Rift. Yeah, this is uh, 
Comic-Style Zombie-Shooter. This is all the most important releases this week. There's nothing new on the PlayStation VR. Okay, guys, before I talk about the sales, something um, um, pr with my private situation, you know what happened uh, to me. And um, I moved to uh, the new apartment now that it's just uh, above my studio. This is so crazy. But I need some days, of course, to move to this apartment. When you see here uh, in my green box room, there's a, a little bed that where I sleep now. This is crazy. This is very uncomfortable. But uh, I promise you that I will be back uh, soon. I need one or two weeks to move and prepare anything. There will be the weekly news, but no other videos, I think. But after that, I will be back with 120%. <laughs> when everything is done and then I have a lot of more time for YouTube and for virtual reality. Wow, we finally um, are close to 8,000 uh, to 9,000 subscribers. Oh my God, on my English channel. <laughs> so guys, let's check out the sales. Keep talking and nobody explodes. A very cool local co-op game, 50% on Steam. Holo Ball, this is a sport arcade game. 50% and then the American Dream, a cool and funny shooter, 75% of Carnage Chronicles, a cool RPG game, 33% of Windlands 2. Um, we have a grappling hook and have to swing from platform to platform, 50% of Pros Enlightenment, a cool horror adventure, 75% of and on the PlayStation platform, still Star Trek Bridge Crew, 56% off Trackmania Turbo, 73% off and Dirt Rally Virtual Reality Bundle, 80% off. So guys, that was the weekly news this week. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up and you know I need some support for you now because I, need, I have to pay these two apartments for myself uh, for the rest of my days, I don't know. And um, I need the goal on Patreon, 1,500 bucks, otherwise I cannot continue that in the future. So please um, um, consider to support me with one buck or we are Patreon or YouTube membership or with Twitch Prime subscription or buy, my, buy your stuff via my Amazon link. Everything is under this video. Thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo.